Welcome everyone, this is Alex for The Custer Spot and today we're going to do a tour of Hershey's Chocolate World in Hershey, PA. It is celebrating 50 years this year, so we're going to show you all the merchandise, the updated uh, chocolate tour. We'll show you a little bit of that. Of course, this is right next to Hershey Park, where there is a store down there as well. We'll have a tour of Chocolate Town as well on the channel, but today, just Chocolate World. So first we're going to start off with experiences that you can pay extra for, then all the dining they have in the back, and then we'll show you all the merchandise, chocolates, and wearables that you can uh, get here in what is probably one of the world's largest candy stores. First off though, right up front is the Hershey's S'mores and More. I believe I have some footage from last summer. This only runs when Hershey Park is open, I believe. First off, we have a little slushy shaved ice S'mores and More bar. Look at all that goodness over there. Oh, a big s'mores for $9.50. That looks amazing. Get Reese's Kit Kats. Wow. But we're going inside. Right when you enter in, you have these fantastic photo ops here with the Chocolate World sign. And this year, they have one of the older vehicles for the Chocolate Tour Dark Ride, where you can sit in and get a picture. Off to the left is going to be the restrooms. And the first extra pay experience is Hershey's Unwrapped, a chocolate tasting journey. Basically, it's kind of a show. You get to try out different types of chocolates. And uh, we had done the precursor, which was a little bit more refined and not as kid friendly. Uh, we really enjoyed that. We have not done this one, so we can't really comment on how that is. Off to the right here is where you're going to get all the tickets for the extra experiences. Of course, the Chocolate World ride is free, though. And here is the place where you can buy those tickets. Right now, as of 2023 in February, there's only three experiences. Usually there is a fourth, which used to be the 4D show. It is currently being transformed into what is called the Hershey Land Express. We don't know anything about it, but I'm assuming it's gonna be a successor to the 4D ride since that is now closed. But here are the prices as of February, 2023. The unwrapped create your own candy bar, which I have done, and the Charlie Works, which gives you a tour all throughout Hershey. It's kind of a historical thing. You do get a chocolate board afterwards, which is fun. And you can pay individually for these extra experiences, or they do have different packages as well. Check the website for updated pricing and packages. I'll try to put down a little bit more information of Hershey Land Express when that opens, and we know more in the description down below. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about that. Right past the ticket counter is where you're going to get the Reese's Stuff Your Cup, where you can create a custom Reese giant thing. You just tell them what you want in it, and you can stuff it from all these different toppings. There's an idea of how big that cup is going to be that you're going to be stuffing. Pretty big. And here are all the different things you can put in there. And Stuff a Cup is going to cost $19.95. And right past the Stuff a Cup is the Hershey's Kitchen. Uh, this just has a bunch of treats usually. It's a bunch of your confectionery stuff like special pretzels, fudge, cookies, you know, with all of it have a Hershey twist to it. So, and the uh, cookie dough cups. And here's gonna be the entrance to that create your own chocolate bar, which is a fun experience. You gotta get dressed up just like you're going into the factory. And then uh, you have a touch screen that you pick out your different uh, insides and then it uh, it's all done by like a conveyor factory. So you feel like you're actually in a chocolate factory, which is really cool. And then uh, you uh, get to design your wrapper on a little touch screen and uh, I'll show you mine that I did a few years ago. I don't think it's changed too much. Comment down below if it has it. So we're going to skip around a little bit. We're going to head to the back first, but then we'll give you a really quick little walk tour around all the merchandise they have. It's all kind of split up into different sections, though. But uh, here's what you really want to do. You want to do the Hershey's Talk Tour, which, in my opinion, is the best dark ride in the Hershey Park complex. Way better than their shooting dark ride, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, it's fun. It's free. It can get a little bit of a long line, but there is a lot of history in the queue line if it does. So you get to learn about the company and Hershey Park as you wait. So we're going to head to the way back, right past this giant little rainforest thing. These are cocoa plants where they get the cocoa beans from to make chocolate, which is really cool. So we will go 
counterclockwise around the giant rainforest. They have a pizza kitchen here. A little personal pizzas. $13 for pepperoni and $12 for cheese. They have a little brewery here. We had tried this. Uh, and we've done the epic pretzel, which is so good. They have three sauces that come with it. So good. I, I, it's huge. All the dipping sauces are really fun. It's a little expensive, for, I'd say, for a uh, uh, pretzel, but I think it's worth trying out one time. Over here, we haven't done this yet. They have Jolly Rancher Slussies for uh, $6. Uh, Souvenir Cup, $11. So, And they also have a bunch of beers on tap around here. Uh, and then can. You can always get the Hershey's Porter here, which is a lot of fun. And then... This bake shop is always open. The other one's kind of a secondary one, so that's why it was closed. But the bake shop over here is stuff that you, you would probably have been able to see at the Hershey's Kitchen as well. It usually has some of the similar things. Got lots of cupcakes, more s'mores. So the same thing that we saw outside is kind of what they do here as well. But yeah, all those cookies look fantastic. Got a little Hershey bits there in the cookie. Oh, so good. And coffee. And then right down from the bar and the pretzel place, you can do your own mac and cheese. And they do have a vegetarian three bean chili and a bread bowl. And there are all of those different options. I will say that some of the stuff in here definitely does change pretty often. So this might change a little bit due to the different seasons. And the back corner here, they do have meet and greets with the characters that you can see at Hershey Park as well. And they have a schedule daily. I think the meet and greets are year round though. At least for the 50th they are. Again, if there's anything that changes during the summer season and spring season when Hershey Park opens up, I will try to list them down in the description below if there's any updates as the year goes on. Back here, some more merchandise that you can get. Probably you can see a bunch of this in the front. And here's where you can have custom milkshakes made. Now these are not the crazy milkshakes that you typically see in Hershey Park. These milkshakes are about $9. The ones in the park that you usually see on social media, those usually cost about $20. So definitely a lot cheaper here, but there's not as much going on it. A few pieces of chocolate, lots of drizzle, whipped cream, as well as the base. You can upgrade your milkshake to $16. And also right now they have a three flight milkshake flight there, which is fun. Get all three of those in a smaller cup. And here's a look at some fake milkshakes that uh, approximate what you're actually going to get. For being fake, they look absolutely divine. It's just along with the Sunday on bubble. Oh, look at that. Okay, that s'mores does not look good fake. No. That's the only thing that does not look enticing at all. And right here is something they just revealed last week. All made out of chocolate of the Chocolate World 50th anniversary little display. Last thing you can do here is you can do a sweet personalization here. You can either use your photo from the Chocolate World ride, a photo from your phone, or the touch screen interface right here. And you can put it on all different types of things, such as keychains, chocolate bars, Hershey Kisses, a giant Hershey Kiss, or somewhat giant Hershey Kiss. So we'll show you the process here. So add a photo, take a photo. What chocolate photo? Choose your wrapper design, add a message. Hi, okay. And there you go. Right on to a new chocolate bar. Now we're going to show you all the types of chocolate you can get here at Chocolate World. Uh, the specialty chocolate for whatever holiday is coming up is always right behind the rainforest. And here's where you usually can get uh, bulk candy, you know, by the box usually. Yeah, and it's usually... Discount candy. Uh, yeah, and discount candy can be here. Oh, God. We're on, a, we're on a diet right now, so we can't get anything. But, my God, I would have gotten a pack of that easily for a dollar. So, yeah, sometimes you have the more obscure things that Hershey does. Like, one bar? I've never even heard of this. Uh, they're specialty 
chocolate bars that are uh, not necessarily made by them, but uh, companies that they partner with or have a little bit of ownership in, which is vast. You, they have partnerships and own so many different things that you have no idea they have. You get multi-bar, multi-packs, world's largest things like Jolly Ranchers, uh, chocolate bars, uh, the largest uh, Hershey Kiss. By the way, I do not suggest this thing. It is so hard to eat this thing when you get towards the middle. You will break your teeth. World's largest uh, Reese, which is amazing. Kit Kats. And uh, then you have the wall of Reese's at the back there of all the different types of Reese's products you would ever want. The pretzels are so good. Big cups, snack bars. Yes, the Nutrageous is my personal favorite. Just a box of 36 Reese's cups. And in most cases, you're going to get a better price than you're going to get uh, even on Amazon or something like that. You have the Twizzlers with all the stuff types. These are my personal favorite. And only $6 for two of these. Yes, those are not so good. I've tried them. They're, they're, they're a thing. And you have all your Kit Kats here with all the different flavors that they've now brought. If you don't know, in Japan, they, which is uh, Hershey doesn't make Kit Kat outside of uh, the United States. Nestle does. And they have like so many different varieties in Japan, but they're finally creating stuff here in the United States. The mocha is the best. The mocha is really good. And Twizzler gummies, I never even heard of those. So, yes. Jolly Rancher stuff. If you want all blue raspberry, you can get that. Zero sugar Twizzlers. Oh man, they're not keto, but they're zero sugar. All the different types of specialty kisses. You ever had the uh, Halloween one? The, the pumpkin spice ones, those are the best. If they still do that during Halloween, I have no idea. Do they? I haven't seen the pumpkin spice. Oh man, that's disappointing. As we continue back to the front of the store, you have the amazing candy machine where you can choose your different flavors. You get a bag. Those are the prices. And then you get to choose from all the different individual little dispensers where you just pull down the lever and dispense however much you want of each different type of Jolly Rancher Kiss or Hershey or Reese bars. A fun size variety. And there's a better example of how much you can stuff into these bags more you buy, more of a deal it is. And here's some more of that merchandise we're gonna to see towards the front of all this, the actual physical, wearable, playable things. So, here we go. We'll start with all the Reese stuff. Obviously you can get whatever you want. Sweatshirts, pants, t-shirts, Lego. The knockoff Lego. Cute little dog toys? That's cute. Nice. Dog toys for $10. That's not too bad. Especially since these actually look like these will actually last a minute. More than a minute. <laughs> Unless you have a really aggressive dog. Then you have all your Kiss merchandise. I love that they have a t-shirt for the Kiss Mobile now. That is so much fun. There's a better one I saw back there. Oh, okay. Different color or different design? Yeah. 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 And then sweatpants. That one. Oh, I saw the Kiss Mobile. Yeah. And of course, you have tumblers and glasses as well for each different brand. Now we're into the Hershey segment. We will show you the 50th anniversary merch in the front where they have the most of it towards the end. These these giant props, right? Yeah, they're just props. I wonder if you actually fill it all the way or if it's, no. Oh, it's a coin bank, duh. Oh, that's cute. 
I like this merchandise. I like the colors here with this uh, water bottle. Yeah, they have little uh, chocolate tins and jars. They also have uh, the... Mm. We also have... Oh, jeez. They have the <laughs> candles. You just smelled that one. If you want to check out our Niagara Falls to area Hi. tour, they have a Hershey's Chocolate World there. We didn't do its own video, but we did it for all of the Niagara attractions. And uh, they had a huge selection of the candles there. More than they have here for some reason. The, the, the Reese one. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I like the old logo, the old packaging. That's cute. And what are we looking at for a typical t-shirt here? Yeah, it looks like regular t-shirts, about $30. Uh, the sweatshirts, I believe, are really expensive, typically. Yeah, I love these old logos. Pulling back from their old uh, designs. Bunch of hats. Hot cocoa spoons. I like how they have merch here that isn't just saying versus They have, like, more design on it. And then, yeah, if you want your basic chocolate world or Hershey shirt, they have those. And those are, oh, they even have a spa set. Look oh. at that. $25. Can we get a price check on sweatshirts? $40. Forty dollars. Not That's not bad. We do have Twizzler merchandise as well. And this one's 50 So I think your sweatshirt prices and some of the t-shirt prices, depending on the quali quality, are going to uh, vary. Lots of magnets and keychains. All priced around five to ten dollars. Got socks, two for twenty. Twelve ninety-five for one of all the different brands. And they have ornaments. They have more out typically during Christmas, but they have a small selection all year round. They even have uh, special uh, Barbie dolls, uh, Kiss Princess, and little cars. Now we're getting into the, uh, I'd say, kid area. These are really soft. Where they have very soft teddy, wow, those are, teddy, yeah, very soft teddy bears of all the different brands, the uh, Hershey's, the Reese's, and Kisses, and crazy Jolly Rancher characters. And you have, like, the mascots. So the Kiss mascot, all the mascots that you see around the property and in the park. And then little pillows. Of course, we got the fidget poppers. Is that still a trend somewhat? You get a, oh, look at this. Look at this Jenga themed chocolate. It's just good for gifts for people. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then as they were in the kids section, they have all the toddler stuff as well. Toddler shirts, mm -hmm. toddler sweatshirts, and all baby onesies, which are adorable. Yes. And uh, love you some more. I love that. And those things. They also have their own Candyland version. And Monopoly. Junior. Umbrellas, even. And ponchos. Blankets. Pretty much anything you ever want. Now, here is the checkout area. If you see a long line, do not be discouraged by it. It can be out of this entire queue and towards, like, halfway back and it will only take you like 10 minutes at most. They have at some point 20, about 20 different checkout areas and they are fast and furious. I've never waited more than five minutes. They are so efficient with the checkout here. Absolutely love it. But however, there is something new that we will show you that just happened in the last few weeks is they do have a self checkout area right here, right across from where you buy your uh, extra pay admission tickets. And then we missed the 50th anniversary of merchandise for Chocolate World itself. If you don't know, they used to have tours up in the Chocolate Factory, and then in 1973, they moved it to down here to have a dark ride chocolate tour instead of actually being in the production factory, which, you know, by the 70s, putting people inside of an active uh, food factory was something that they just could not handle anymore. So they had to move it to this. Created a fantastic dark ride that they've upgraded many times, and now they're celebrating 50, 50 years of it with this anniversary merchandise cups magnets ornaments bags a little teddy bear and kind of a photo op as well uh, finally if you're doing the Charlie works tour you meet right out front 
to uh, take your tour on the trolley. But uh, yeah, it is huge. If you've been to any of the other chocolate worlds like Las Vegas, Niagara, or New York, they are barely bigger than this This it's entrance plaza typically, I think. Right, Ariel? Yeah. Yeah, like they, they have a lot of cool stuff, but it's very compressed. Huge. There's no experiences other than maybe like make your own special drink or whatever food oh, I got. Right, right. They don't have any of the rides or shows or anything like that. Because of course, this is a signature uh chocolate world um i think it's one of like half a dozen or so around the world i think there's like one in dubai and in other places as well so but uh, yeah that's it uh if you want to keep updated with chocolate world we will post more updates or a new tour when it's needed probably next year but hit that bell for instant notifications when videos come out subscribe comment down below what's your favorite hershey's product what is yours the mint cookies ball that you got me, the new one. Oh, yes. Yeah. We'll just show you that right now of all those. Like, I think we missed those. Yeah. Like this video, make him buy me one. Yeah, there's six types. I think we tried them all now. So I'll be like, he buys me a bar. Me? Anything Reese's. <laughs> you hear what I just said? Yes. <laughs> no! <laughs> no, I did not hear you. I heard it after thinking about it. No. Uh. Yeah, no. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, thanks for watching this one, Alex. I don't think I already used to, but wonderful Mrs. Coaster spotting. See you soon.